So now let's talk about the types of tax systems that exist. There are three primary ways that we could do taxes, and this would be with a proportional system, a regressive system, and a progressive system. So let's talk about what distinguishes these three from each other. In a proportional system, the tax rate is constant. In a regressive system, the tax rate falls as you earn more. And in a progressive system, the tax rate rises as you earn more. So now the question is, is, how does that look? Let's say that my income is $50,000. Then if my income is $50,000, and this is a proportional system, let's say, for example, let's say that it's at 5%, then I would simply have 50,000 times 5%. Right, so now I would just have a tax bill of $2,500. In a regressive system, same $50,000, except now what we do is we start to create brackets, tax brackets. So what I want to do is say something like this. I'm going to make up these kind of brackets here. So here's the idea. For a regressive system, as you can see here, the tax rate is falling as I earn more and more money. Now, why would you do this? Um, it basically, the reason why you would do this is because you think that as people earn more money, they'll like invest it in the economy, they'll spend the money as they get more money. Um, it tends to be a conservative point of view. Um, it tends to be a Republican point of view, which is why Republicans and conservatives generally call for lower taxes. So it's not that conservatives necessarily want to bankrupt the government. Rather, they believe that regressive taxes, lower taxes, encourage people to spend more money. So how would you calculate this total tax bill? So now what I have to do is that of my $50,000 I earn, the first 20000 is going to be taxed at 20%. And now in this second bracket, there are $9,999, right? Between 20001 and 30000 That's going to be taxed at 15%. And now in this bracket here, there's $14,999, that's going to be taxed at 10%. And then finally, I have $4,999 that's going to be taxed at 5%, because that's $45,001 to the 50th thousandth dollar. So now what I do, as I'm calculating this out, is that this equals 4000 This equals 
and then I sum these up. For total tax bill here now is 7249.70. So you can see here that I basically to, to solve this regressive tax problem I have to break down my taxes, my, my money, my income into these individual brackets. The final one we have is called a progressive tax system. And in a progressive tax system, it's the exact opposite of a regressive tax system. So now what we'll see is that the tax rates go up as my income increases. So actually, let's just try to use the same numbers we have here for the brackets. Except now what I'm going to do is basically, I'm, you know, just as an example here, I'm going to reverse my tax rates now. The most important thing that I'm doing here is that as my income goes up, my tax rate is going up. Okay. So you can see here that my income that's in those certain ranges is not changing. That's still pretty much the same. Except now what's changing is the percentage that I'm multiplying it by. And that as I do this, And then I can sum these up. For a total tax payer here now of 40, 52, 49.55. And that would be my total tax bill under a progressive tax system. So, higher income earning people would pay more in taxes, right? Because you can see here, that last bracket, over here, it's two forty nine ninety five for the regressive tax system, where it's a thousand dollars in the uh, progressive tax system. So basically, rich people pay more under a progressive tax system. This is what we typically associate with uh, the Democrats or what are the more liberal uh, points of view.